That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaya and today we are going to be watching the live CBGB concert by Bad Brains. This is from 1982. Now if you're not familiar with Bad Brains, as far as I know, they are one of the pioneers of hardcore punk. I did recently have a poll on my channel asking y'all if you wanted some hardcore and punk reactions and it was split 50 50 very hard uh to make a decision there a lot of y'all in the comments said you wanted them there were a few that said you didn't so you know we're we're kind of in in a mixed area here so let me know down below if you want more hardcore or punk reactions on the channel i know that they kind of go hand in hand with metal but it is also different than metal in some ways this is still a turd brown girl uh, uh. Anyway, I want to give a huge shout out to Tom. This is a viewer and subscriber of mine who frequents the Metal Monday live streams. He did donate to the channel a couple weeks ago, personally requesting this Bad Brains reaction from me. So I'm very excited about listening to Bad Brains. Um, I've heard of this band before and uh, yeah, Let's get into the music. Like I said, we're going to be watching the live performance from CBGB, an iconic music venue. I do have a vintage t-shirt of theirs, actually, which I should have worn for this video. <laughs> but anyway, it's iconic video, uh, you, iconic venue. Let's get into it. gosh yep they're doing that same flailing that was at the uh the creeping death show i love it it's kind of like because it's it's 82 so just a brand new decade you still kind of have lingering elements of the 70s and some of the dance moves and the fashion so it's really interesting to see the kind of like the switch this oh my gosh this is so interesting i was really born in the wrong decade I'm, I'm blessed to be born when i was but baby i wish sometimes that i could have grown up in the freaking 80s <laughs> this looks so so fun <laughs> I 
love it. The crowd is up there. no separation between like the stage and like the crowd area and I love how ev there's just like so many people coming up on stage hugging him singing with him kissing him on the cheek bringing him into the mosh pit and he's just like he, he always, I love it I love it also the weekend definitely copied this lead singer's hair for sure <laughs> Perfectly transitioning between songs, too, in these sets. Get this dude, he's bleeding, you know? Yeah. Poor guy. Clean yourself up. can't wait to listen to like the actual recording version of this like on record it's interesting because he's kind of dancing kind of how Elvis danced a little bit just kind of like with the gyrating hips I love it you're obviously seeing like early day mosh pit with this um, and of course the the transition of, of the decade so so the 70s going into the 80s I'm also thinking about because I'm doing a video on the satanic panic <laughs> how some of those moms might have visualized something like this like seen this and, and seen like oh people flailing around being resurrected back into the pit like it's just it's just interesting it's really really interesting um, obviously the recording of like the music is not great, which is kind of to be expected with how old this is. <laughs> um, but 
you can you can tell by the sound of it that it is a banger especially the guitar tone it's it's nice <laughs> them off. That is so cool. You can tell that like the guitar amps are really really loud because back in these days they made amps super super loud and you kind of had to have them be <laughs> because you didn't at least from as far as I know they didn't put mics in front of the amps like they do now or at least you know plug them into the sound system so I have an old Fender tremolo amp from the 70s that is a big beefy meaty loud amp and you can tell whoo i bet this show was so loud um this is really interesting to see i really enjoy watching like older video footage and just like looking at what it was what music was like what concerts were like back in the day and it's so cool to see a band like this especially because um they were so influential um in terms of starting hardcore punk and you can you can see that 1982 is such an early time to be kind of making music like this um because really mainstream wise like the heaviest you you got was probably like acdc um uh, and that's cool it's cool i like it 
hardcore punk, punk rock, alternative indie, and alternative metal is kind of what the genres were. So, um, y'all let me know what you think about Bad Brains. What do you think about this? Ow. <laughs> sorry, I just, I just like pinched the bruise I got yesterday. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you gotta let me know what you think about Bad Brains. What do you think about this performance at CBGB? And, uh, what do you think about hardcore punk, uh, in general? Like, do you listen to any hardcore punk? Are you a fan of it? Um, do you want to see more of it on the channel? Um, you know, I know we did the poll. You'll have to let me know down below in the comments because I, I will deliver whatever y'all want. Okay. So super iconic venue they're playing at. Iconic footage. The fact that this is even still something we can view after what? 92, 02, 12, 22, after 40 freaking years. Bobby, sorry if that makes you feel really old, but that's crazy. Um, the fact that 1972, it's like 50 years is crazy. Goodness. Jimi Hendrix has been dead for 52 years. That's crazy. Anyway, um, <laughs> Yeah, let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please feel free to do so. I post weekly videos documenting my metal journey as a brand new metal head. I also have a Discord, the Mosh Pit. There's an invite link down below in my description, as well as my P.O. Box. If you want to send something to be featured in one of my metal unboxing videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.